All right, well, here's something else we haven't really talked about at all. Uh, Elton John, Elton John's band, D. Murray. Oh, man. You know, that. so you were all living in the same area. Well, yeah, well, uh, he lived on the same estate that Donovan lived on. Oh, and Donovan. you got to talk about Donovan because yeah. somebody said your name was on one of the records along with... Uh, the rest of yeah, the I wouldn't do the whole thing. I wouldn't do uh, essence to essence record. Uh, uh, Why wouldn't you do the whole thing? Because I told him, I said, if I play on the whole thing, it might as well be like Donovan and the Dominoes. And I said, that's. Just, <laughs> I said I feel kind of uncomfortable doing it anyway. So I think I only played on a couple of songs. So explain how that went down. Quick. Can it you... doesn't take long to cut a Donovan song, oh, <laughs> especially for Jim Gordon, Carl Radle, and Bobby Whitlock. How did that come to be? That's what I'd like to know. Donovan was a friend, and uh, he asked us, and we said yes. It was pretty simple, you know. Uh, and, and we were a really hot uh, section, you know. We had already been playing together a couple of years before we uh, went and did the uh, All Things Put Must Pass and became the Dominoes, you know. Right. So we were already real, real tight, you know, tight and loose at the same time. Did you and Donovan write anything together? Any songs? No, I tried to get him to. Uh, <laughs> one time he came over at my place. I had another place in uh, Weybridge, and uh, uh, and he came to came to visit and have dinner one night. And I tried to get him to write a song with me. I had this idea about you know, guy comes home and you know. <laughs> Curtains are on the floor, you know. And <laughs> I came into the front door, and I know I heard the back door slam. Tell me, who do you feel can feel that you've been messing with another man? Uh, it's like, <laughs> uh, looks like a hurricane hit here. The sheets are all over the floor, and the curtains close in the middle of the day, and the lights are turned way down low. Now tell me who's been sleeping in my bed? Who's been loving you, baby? Who's been playing in my house? Who's been sleeping in my bed? Boom, boom. He said, Oh, like the three little bears. <laughs> I said, No, not quite like that, man. But we, we, I, we try, I tried to get him to write that with me. Uh, <laughs> turns out Jack Tension helped, helped me finish it. Uh, he, was, he wrote Peacefully, Easy Feeling, The Smuggler's Blues. Right. So, um, so you did Essence to Essence. And whereabouts did that fall in the, in the Domino's life? It fell in the shadows. You know, because we went on with the... Uh, when the band had fallen apart, that's what... Yeah, uh, you know, when we went on with uh, what we were doing, you know, we we hadn't fallen apart at that point. I mean, we just all happened to be in London, you know. Okay, well, that's what I was asking. So he caught it. He caught it. To, uh, he caught us at the right time, the right place. And everybody said, sure. I forget how it came about. See, uh, I knew his his wife, Linda. Uh, we were friends, and she's friends with ours now. Don and, and Linda are friends with Coco's and mine. Yeah. For quite some time now. You know, but... Okay. Were you going somewhere with that? No, I wasn't. I okay. got to thinking about his, right, well, that place for sale in the Isle of Skye, his boathouse. Oh, no, not again. You know. <laughs> Man, it's cold there. It's <laughs> currently for sale. And it's currently for sale. Yeah, that's kind of what brought his name up today. I saw that photo. And I went, oh. Well, the other thing was uh, somebody had mentioned Elton John's book. Of course, we know that he mentioned you in the book. And so you you all lived in the same like little neighborhood. Yeah, he was only a couple miles down from my house, and uh, I had a really nice place on the edge of Ascot. And he and uh, Donovan lived on the same estate, and I can't remember the name of the estate. There's all these great big houses. Didn't you, you say know. Dee Murray lived there as well? Well, no, I don't know where Dee lived then. Oh. But, uh, we were friends when we were in Nashville. Dee lived in Nashville, and we were a mile apart. But he, he and I uh, put together a band with uh, David Johnson, Phil Donnelly, Tony Newman, Dee Murray, and me. It was called the Dead Wankers. <laughs> and it was, it was fun. It was a great rock and roll band. You know, we did a couple of gigs in, in Nashville. Right. 
How were how were those guys? How did they feel about being dumped from the band? D was devastated. He never ever got over it. And then when uh, he, uh, Elton got Nigel and uh, Davy back, uh, Baby Johnstone, uh, and didn't ask D. He had all of Elton's golden platinum albums in his place. He trashed all of them. Oh. He was really, really... Up. But he went on with his life for a while, and then he passed away. I don't know what happened to him, you know, but because I left Nashville. And, uh, but D was right down the road. So we, we did a considerable amount of hanging out. He played on some of my some sessions of mine, you know, from some of my stuff. What sessions do you remember? Oh. Uh, uh, I can't even remember the name of the song. It's just a, a, a image in my mind, you know. If I was given time and not under any kind of pressure, I could come up with it. But I, <laughs> I don't have time and I'm under pressure. So you just have to take my word for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, sorry to pressure you, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, ready for Saturday night. Ooh. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and he, he had an octave vider. Octaver. Uh, what? It's called an octaver. Octaver? I thought it was an octave vider. <laughs> okay, well, you know, you all, oh, everybody's, really everybody's going to be looking it up and, and making sure that we get it right. That's so. fine, uh, because, man, <laughs> he, he cranked it, you know, <laughs> really opened it up. Uh, yeah, that's how I remember hearing that. Yeah, I, I record, I had a 55 Chevrolet. And it was sitting out back, and I had glass packs on it, and we put microphones on, on it, and I went out there, but blew a set of rings out, <laughs> making a tape. We were trying to put my, this is ready for Saturday, going up, crank up my 55 Chevy, grab a six-pack and take a ride, put Memphis in the rearview mirror, and head across the Arkansas line. Find myself a sweet young thing and give her what I know she likes. Cause I'm wired up and fired up and ready to go. I'm ready, ready for Saturday night. Down, 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 Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love it. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> I like those fun songs, you know. Yeah. Life's life's as serious enough as it is. You take life serious, you, you, next thing you know, it gets serious. Uh, well, you know, if you can turn that around and live in the moment, that's all. Uh, that's, that's it. Because it's got to get better. Thank goodness it's finally gotten better around here. Not better. meaning our house, but meaning the whole world has gotten better. That's uh, that. So. um Let's see. Oh, yeah. Somebody else had mentioned P.P. P. Arnold and, and Eric had played. Well, it was you and Eric played on P.P. Yeah, Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain what happened? I think Eric was supposed to have produced her record. And uh, we were, uh, this is when I was, before we did All Things, George had asked us to put the band together. And Carl came over. We had a session with P.P. P. Arnold. Carl had come over and he couldn't find the the studio, it was just some little, about business room studio, you know. Right. Eric and I were there, and um, Carl, Carl couldn't find us. We went down the street and got Man for Man's bass player. He came and played on the thing. And Jim Gordon was there. We didn't know Jim Gordon was going to show up because I'd called Keltner. Jim Gordon oh, was that's there. that's where he showed up. Yeah, Jim Gordon just kind of stormed over, did a Jim Gordon thing. And I'm glad he did. What a great drummer. But uh, it was supposed to be Kelly, you see. And uh, we were trying to wait things out. And George had asked us to put this band together. Well, and we went ahead on and did this session with PP. And after, like, Eric and I had this powwow. So, I mean, we're talking about Gabor Zabo is going to be another month before Keltner can get here. So you want to just go ahead and ask him to do this thing so we can get on with it? And we did. And PP paid everybody but Eric and me <laughs> for the session. Jim was elated to do the gig, and that meant he got, you know, got in the All Things Must Pass thing as well. Uh, uh, 
So it all, that's when everything started falling together for George's George's record, and uh, but she didn't pay Eric and didn't pay me. Eric got real upset about it. He said, I'm, I, and it wasn't but fifty pounds because you know she, I know they were working on a budget and everything, but she uh, um, just neglected to pay us. And paid you know everybody else that was on the thing, that's but crazy. not us because she figured didn't need the money. Eric Clapton. <laughs> And he's boy, he was upset about it. He's, it's not about the money. He said, I, he said, I'll never, I'll never play, uh, do anything with her again. You know? Ooh, he wow. got heated about it, you know. And all. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just, I just went on back out to hurt with, with him, you know. Right. And yeah, it really got him. It not wasn't about the money. It's about hey, you know, everybody gets paid. It doesn't Absolutely. matter. You know. And uh, it was just an oversight on one of her people's. Part, I that guess. Was a bad you know. mistake. Bad mistake that she probably sacked him. You know, then she should have. You know. mm. <laughs> there was something else to, about Elton. Oh, I was going to say. He says in his book that he was uh, uh, watching me. You know, and I thought it was totally cool that he mentioned me in his book. But he was watching me because I got all of my. I did all, I got all my chops and bones from, you know, gospel music and that real Memphis thing, stacks thing out in my influence, a well of influences, real, real deep, you know, Memphis Slim, Jerry Lewis, you know, Bass Domino, all his gospel playing and stuff, you know, Booker T and Isaac Hayes, you know, so my, 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 my well of influence is real, real deep. And, uh, uh, where was I going with that, Coco? But anyway, I. Uh, but you that's been, why he, he, he was, said he'd been watching you, and I think you yeah, were going to say you were watching him. He said he'd been. But I was watching him. Right. Which is the thing. Funny that. I was watching him, and he was watching me. And now and I'm watching you. Him, and now you're watching me, <laughs> and they're all watching us, you know? And I was totally, <clears throat> I was totally into Elton John. Yeah, yeah. But I just loved it, man, because there were those three guys up there. Elton and, and uh, Nigel and Dee, yep. and they were just kicking it, man. It was great to see that little guy out there playing and singing. That great band, you know. I, I thought it took a whole lot of balls to get out there like that and play three-piece, you know, in front of all those folks, and you know, and then that, then that changed, you know, his thing. But, yeah, yeah, have Elton John you know, be looking at me and I'm looking at him, I thought that was ironic. He, he didn't last long on our tour. We had to let him go because he was trashing all the hotel rooms. And we, when we finally showed up for like the third time and they wouldn't let us in, Eric said, that's, that's it. he's got to go. <laughs> you know, I mean, it went back to the office that that had happened. We actually were going to go see him uh, before the COVID thing hit and then it got blown out of the water. Yeah, yeah. I was looking forward to that. Yeah, it would have been fun. Maybe next time. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You know. All right, honey. I think that's good for today. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It seemed like there was something else, but ah, uh, we'll we'll get to it. We'll get yeah, to we'll it. get to it. Uh, and we'll change out the painting. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks for uh, dialing in on us. We appreciate it. <laughs>